Okay, we have retained another integral. This one's from the Florida Integration B from 2016, problem 21. We have this whole complicated expression, dx. Okay, this is actually the type of problem that comes up a lot in integration Bs. And the giveaway, there's a couple of things that are kind of giving it away is like, this is really complicated. And also that we're adding here, it's making me think if I distribute this out, separate it into two terms, this is somehow gonna be the reverse product rule. Okay, so now I've distributed everything out. And notice I didn't really simplify anything because I'm not sure how this is gonna work yet. Like I didn't, I could combine these because we've got the same base here. I could also combine these because we've got the same base. The thing I'm interested in is actually like the most complicated part of this, which is I think what's going on here and what's gonna be the derivative of this. It looks like maybe the derivative of this could be this or something like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of put a label. Let's call this our F. And then what I want to do is take the derivative and see if we can find the derivative over here. So we're saying f is going to be e to the e to the square root of x. I want to take a derivative on this. So first with the base e, we just get the whole thing back. Then with chain rule, I need to take the derivative of this. But that's just going to, again, be just e square root of x. And then chain rule again, derivative of square root of x is just going to be 1 over 2 times the square root of x. And the interesting thing is this numerator right here, this is exactly what we have right here on the left side. And what I'm gonna do is let's kind of force this to happen because if this is gonna work, we're gonna need something in the denominator. So let me, so let me kind of just divide in a two over square root x here. This way, this whole piece right here, this is gonna be our f prime value. But now here, I don't wanna change it. So let's first multiply in a two. And then if I multiply by a square root of x, this is gonna become an x. Thinking about like this right here in blue is gonna be x to the 3 halves. So if I multiply in a square root of x, this whole thing here is gonna become just x squared. And now that's pretty good that we've got the derivative of f right here, but for this to work, we're gonna need this whole thing, everything inside the integral to be the product rule. Let's just look at our product rule really quick. So the product rule is gonna tell us if we're multiplying two functions, f times g, we take the derivative, it's just gonna be f prime g plus f g prime. And we're saying this whole thing is happening within an integral. So in here, when you take an integral of a derivative, you're just gonna get back this right here. So if we can just figure out, if we can make this work with our integral, the solution to this is just gonna be f g plus c. So in this formula right here, we have our f prime already, and that works. Now, next we need this to be our g. But then if g is gonna be 2x squared, I can take a derivative, so g prime is just gonna be 4x, and that's what we have right here. This is our g prime. So what we have here inside the integral, this is exactly set up for our product rule. So all we're gonna need for our solution is just the f and g. We establish f is gonna be e to the e to the square root of x. We have our g over here. So for my final solution is we just have 2x squared times e to the e square root of x plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have an interesting problem today from the Florida Integration B 2016. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.